Hello! Ah, good old Poundland. Now, you may remember recently that uh, they brought out their own range of action figures based loosely on mythological stuff. There's like barbarians and demons and people with heads like animals and all that sort of guff. Well, you'll be pleased to hear they obviously sold well because they've produced a load more rangers, starting with... Knights. And warriors. Never confuse the two, it's rude. Three plus is presumably an age rating and not how many you get in the box because there only appears to be one. Warriors of the world. Yep, it's a series of historical fighting men who went out armed with little more than a wooden sword and no trousers in order to kill or be killed. Not much of a career choice, but hey, there probably wasn't much around at the time. Yep, the back of the box is just some vague imagery and more of the same words. So what's the figure like? Answer, he's frickin' terrified. It looks like he's just realised what his situation is, in fact. Like, oh my god, I'm trapped in a box and there's a giant coming towards me! Ah! Um, so yeah, is he supposed to be fighting? I'm not really sure. Um, he comes with a sort of gladius sword type thing in his belt there, but... Arms look like he should be waving two swords around. And before you think, hey, quite clearly he's missing a weapon, no he isn't. Here's one somebody sent me from many miles away. In fact, I've been sent several of these and none of them had any extra weaponry. Such is life. Right, what's he like then? Let's rip him open. And yes, he does look frickin' terrified actually. Um, obviously, ooh. oh. Wow, comes screwed into the cardboard. That's pretty strange. Um, I would have said some sort of Roman thing going on here, quite obviously. He's got a sort of wolf pelt over him. Bit of chainmail going on. Some crappy sandals are looking like he's been stepping in a load of cow poo. Tiny little round shield, which is permanently glued to his side. And, yep, the sword. Oh, which again is... Oh, no, it does come out. I felt like it was glued in there. But if we put it in that hand... He's not going to win any fights, is he? I think the main problem here, other than the marvellously sloppy um, paint job, are the eyes. He hasn't got any. Probably why he's so horrified. He's had his eyes gouged out and he's wandering around going, I can't see. Maybe it was revenge from the uh, bear or wolf or whatever animal that was, his family, came back and took his eyes in order to enact natural justice. Who knows? Who cares? Tell you what I care about. More figures in the range. I've got another one. It's an archer. He's got a bit of a sort of medieval look going on, I would have said. Maybe Roman. Yeah, actually, judging by the skirt, I would say Roman. He's got himself a sword. Look, comes out of its uh, hole there. Doesn't seem to come out of its scabbard, which is a shame if he wants to wield it. But hey, his arms are permanent in this position, so what's he going to do? He's got silver-fletched arrows, which probably look quite expensive. And that sort of slightly more dynamic pose, looking a lot better on the shelf, until you look into his eyes. And this time, rather than black blobs, they're dark brown. It looks like he got a load of nail varnish and poured it in his eyes. Maybe he's a drunken bet. Oh, yeah, I bet I can still hit things with this bow, lads, if I pour a load of that Maybelline stuff in my eyes. Oh, no, I can't. Anyway, that's Knights Warriors of the World. They've also decided to jump on the bandwagon of pirates and Johnny Depps and things like that with another lovely series, which I've dropped on the floor and can't find. Hang on, here we go. Mega Fang Strike Playset. No, it's definitely a figure. It is Pirate 2 Dark Water Voyage. There never was a pirate one, of course, needless to say. So we've got this kind of ghost pirate LeChuck thing going on there and some sort of phantom boat. Comes the figure itself in the minute. Um, all of them have the same box, by the way. They all say Mega Fangs Strike Playset, which doesn't mean anything at all. And figures of other things in the range. Crocodile Head Man. Other Man. Neck Beard. Angry Man. Rotting two-headed corpse. I have all those figures, I believe. That will prove interesting in a moment. But do remember that specifications, killers, and contents may vary from illustrations. Killors. It's always a slight worry when somebody can't spell the word colours. But hey, it is our good friends at Fantastic, so we'll let them off. And particularly good sad onion there as well. Looks more like a despondent onion. A sort of onion undergoing an existential crisis. A French philosophical onion. There we go. Anyway... Let's have a look at crap beard. I mean, black beard here. Escape. Ah, twist. And he's off. Off to point something in the air. It looks like he should have some kind of flintlock pistol or something, but they're all just strapped to him and he doesn't come with one. Here, have this gladius from a figure earlier. No, he doesn't like that either. Well, if you're going to be miserable, be miserable. What is interesting is, rather than going for the standard hook for the severed hand, he's gone for what can only be described as a fucking mug tree. 
or some sort of decorative item from an Incan temple or something. What on earth are you going to be doing with that? Actually, I don't want to know. You could probably stick it up somebody's bum and cause some major damage. Maybe that's what he does. But, oh, um, I don't know if we've mentioned the quality of these figures, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> the warriors of the world are quite solid. Pirates feel quite solid, but yeah, you can tell by the way he's literally falling apart as I'm moving things. Hey, that arm's okay. Well done, crap beard. Um, on the back, there's some... Uh, I think, unfortunately, your time has come. We'll assume he was a ghost pirate. On the plus side, the face is quite nicely done, look. I would guess these figures are from the Chinese company Chap Mai at some stage, because they always look a bit like that. Anyway, who else have we got in our Pirate's Cove? Yar, Nick Beard comes with an, actually comes with an accessory. Whatever next, looks like he should come with two. But anyway, something else I like. The old peg leg has been replaced with some sort of bizarre quasi robot thing with a thorn on it. Well done. That makes things slightly different. Just realised metallic stone washed jeans, but those were expensive back in the day. Um, yeah, his body's far too um, pale for the rest of his body, as we say. And uh, yeah, the whole ginger neck beard thing is a bit worrying. Looks more like somebody who sits on the internet on the in the basement of his mother's ship, tapping out about how different operating systems affect pirates or something. I don't know. Yar. I be convinced that NVIDIA's graphics cards be extremely inferior to AMD's, yet their drivers be better, yar! There we are. That's the kind of thing people with neck beards usually say in my experience. Anyway, who's next? Ooh, Mr. Chain Axe. He really doesn't want to lose that axe. Look, he's got it uh, strapped to his arm. Just realised the reason he's got it strapped to his arm is most of his arm is made of wood. I don't know if that's an interesting wart-like disease or a really good prosthetic. It's a fantastic prosthetic compared to the others. Look, it's got fingers and stuff, whereas, I mean, I don't know what's going on with that one. Um, one arm is up in the middle of nowhere. He's got a very cool belt buckle, very bad haircut. Is yelling quite angrily whilst looking off camera. There we are, that's better. Arr, I see thee there. And, yeah, other than that, quite sensibly piratey. Hmm, it's, uh, oh, uh, falls to bits as easy as the others, but let's not get into that. The next one's my absolute favourite. Crocodile-headed man appears to have gone purple for the one you actually buy, which is pretty strange. So he's like pretending to be somebody cosplaying as a dragon? Did pirates do that? I don't know. Look, the glove is obviously strapped to his wrist. Um, it's been glued on so it won't come off very easily. But the hat does. Take the hat off. It's bloody Hitler. Unbelievable. So apparently a very popular pirate stereotype is Hitler cosplaying as a purple dragon. Yeah, it was in Evangelion. Have you not even seen this? Oh, you are such a noob. That's exactly how Hitler spoke. I've seen the films. Um, yeah, well, fair enough. Um, it's quite imaginative. I actually quite like that one. That might go on the shelf of interesting items at some point. And this one, um, on the sort of, for major contrast, is completely sensible. It's just a pirate with a massive rifle. Looks piratey. Looks a bit pissed off. Rrr. He's got some sort of uh, stitches on his head where he's uh, undergone a lobotomy or had some sort of Google implant put in. And, yeah, that just looks really sensible as compared to the others. In fact, you're a bit boring. Go and sit behind the box. You're boring us. Not so boring is horrifying corpse. Rotted and burned and goodness knows what. Why has it got two heads? I don't know. Why is that one's hair sticking up in the air? I don't know. Why has that one got a dagger through its head? I don't know. It's got this one-eyed willy thing going on there, which is a Goonies reference, not a reference to pornography. And sadly comes with no weapons, but does have a very, very frightening zombie look to it. So well done, fantastic. We like that one. Next up. Top Toys present Dragon Quest. It's just a toy of a dragon. Looks a bit more like a dinosaur with wings glued to it, to be honest. Why have I even bothered mentioning this? I'll tell you. Because of the tagline. Dragon Quest. Realistic replica. Don't know where you live, mate, but pretty sure these didn't exist. Next, next, next. How about something a little more sedate and something genuinely realistic? A toy screeching deer elk type monster. Again, it's the title of these that really set it off for me. <clears throat> the World of Biological Series. Yeah, catchy. See, the thing about Biological Series is that's a little bit vague and could in fact be any lig living organism. Could be any ligging organism if it's pulling things around, who knows. Also in this series, bison thing, tiger, giraffe, lion, horse, logo, tree, sofa, pointing, and all that kind of stuff. Can I get this open? 
probably not very easily. Oh yeah, here we are. Marvellous. It's an elk thing. It's got big antlers. Looks like it's in pain. Looks like it's been dead for some time, actually, and something's taken its eyes. Yeah, all right, that's freaking me out now. Oh my god, this has reminded me of something. Oh, hang on. Right, jump cut. I'm going to go and get an item. I'll be back in a second. Ha! Found it. Farm animals. Yep, a picture of a cow, but you actually get a sheep. The scary thing is, whilst it's quite a nicely modelled sheep, although that uh, moulding line's a slight worry, it appears to be covered in quite a lot of blood, including... yeah. Sheep with a bloody anus. The toy every child wants for Christmas 2013. Well, in order to thank you for sitting through to the end of this video, I'm going to show you something yet else. It's like a punishment and a reward all in once. How about a little princess royal wedding? Oh, look at them. They're so happy in their dresses. I um, reviewed something a bit like this before, but this one has a slight twist on it. Let's have a look, shall we? We've got a My Little Pony pulling a carriage. We've got the happy couple. We've got a giant handbag. We've got some sort of triffid monster thing going on. Giant thing and... Right, let's have a look into this more. There seems to be a serious disparity between the size of the figures and the size of the props they come with. Something you usually see in those tiny um, action figures for the soldiers and stuff. So what have we got? A brush. No, it wasn't a triffid, it's a brush. But she's not going to need a brush, because she's made out of hard plastic, and is horrifyingly hollow, like some sort of weird bass relief. By far better, though, is the prince she's marrying. I don't know what his name is, but I'm guessing... Uh, derp, anybody? Yeah, I think it pretty much has to be. Yeah, I don't know who's painting on the eyes in the factory, but they really wanted to go home early that day. Oh my god, that freaks me out. Um, also, yeah, handbag big enough to fit a corpse in. Another flower stroke brush thing going on. I presume, actually, that is for the pony's hair as it pulls the carriage that they can't possibly fit into. There we are, that's exactly like the royal wedding recently, isn't it? Kate and William, together at last. Perfect. Um, yeah, that's going to give endless... Oh my god, it's head split in half! My Little Pony Abattoir set has come to life. There we are. And that is the end of... Uh, s s Twilight Bum Sparkle. I don't know, they have names like that, don't they? Midnight Cunt Flap, or something like that. And also, hair grips for it. Although they could be some sort of hideous head crab or torture device for these. Uh, or maybe they're actually novelty toilet seats for them. Who can tell? Anyway, that's enough of those for the time being. Fingers crossed that Poundland come up with a few more of these lines, because frankly they are giving me endless amusement.